thing's called a RoboMoco. We actually have two motion controlled computerized arms here that one a actor or stunt person will be on, the other one the camera is on, and they work in harmony to get a shot that is pretty unattainable any other way. We'll have a background plate which will be the London skyline as somebody's falling and then the camera will make the camera moves that would be otherwise impossible so you get kind of a cool long falling shot with movie magic. Good learning experience. Yeah, it was a great show. I was um, addicted to that show. Then from that, I started doing, getting second unit directing jobs on more movies, and then I would start not taking a stunt coordinator job unless I had at least a chance of getting some second unit directing on it. Mm -hmm. And now I pretty much exclusively uh, directed second unit. A lot of that is because of Marvel, um, on the last Iron Man movie, I ended up um, taking over the second director job for Brian Smurz, um, who okay. left for another project when Robert Downey got injured. That shut production down for six weeks. Brian couldn't wait. I got the job. It turned out to be a great job because I ended up directing the, the last couple sequences in the movie. And Marvel then hired me back for the first um, Ant-Man, then uh, Doctor Strange. I was back here in the UK for seven months directing the second unit on that. Uh, Captain Marvel, and now I'm here on a Netflix movie, The Old Guard. Really was trying to get in with a couple actors that I was um, thought I would be a good double for, especially Kevin Bacon, because everyone said you could yes. be spot on double right. for him. I finally got the opportunity one time to, on Tremors to double him for two days of reshoots. Okay. And we hit it off really good. His hair and makeup people was like, man, you gotta hire this guy again. So like for the next three movies, he called me to double him. Okay. But every one of those, the biggest was River Wild, which I turned down because I had a five day stunt coordinating job. Okay. I never did double him again. Okay. Uh, but I did get some small stunt coordinator jobs where I didn't make any money, but I got a little bit of a resume. Right. And I just kind of worked my way up from there. Yeah. So, so I, I noticed that, I mean, you're also doing a lot of, of directing, right? So you're directing on the second unit sometimes on some of your credits. and Right. Well, that, uh, so from stunt coordinator, the next step would be to direct second units and you know as a stunt coordinator you you know even on the show we do a lot of stunt viz we call it so, you know it's pre-viz live action with the stunt guys you go design your sequences and you edit it together and you start learning a lot about the shots the editing how it works mm -hmm. and makes it much more logical for you to work into a second unit directing position because you right. know how it works. So I started getting into those. My I joined the DGA in 1987, okay. and my first stunt coordinator job for a real movie was called It Could Happen to You, Nick Cage, Bridget Fonda movie. Okay. And I got that because I was a balloon pilot and was able to get permits to launch a hot air balloon out of Central Park, something that never been <laughs> done before. Right. Um, and I also got the second unit director job to, to shoot the aerial shots of that. Okay. Um, then I didn't get another second unit director job for quite a few years. Um, I did the TV show Alias mm -hmm. um, back in the early 2000s. And that was, that was my, my one and only TV show that I did, but I was directed the second unit on that for, for three years. And that was... 